Do you want to play PlayStation 4 games on your computer or cell phone? Then you're gonna learn how to do this by the end of this video tutorial. Stay tuned. Yo, what's up folks, Dexic Pro with a new one. Gamers always have this passion to play games all the time with no limits, right? Imagine yourself as a PlayStation 4 owner who want to play games but you have no physical access to your console and it's far from you. For example, when you're on a trip or even you want to play in your bedroom while the PS4 is in the living room. So what you gonna do then? Here's the answer to the question and it is remote play. You can stay in the game while you're away from home. There are remote play apps designed for multiple devices like computer, cell phone and tablet that you can install and connect them to PS4 in order to play games remotely via LAN or WAN. But here is the tricky part guys. Using remote play feature needs your PS4 connected to the PlayStation Network or PSN to work. Since my PS4 is jailbroken and the system software ain't updated to the latest version, I won't be able connecting it to the PSN to play remotely. But still, there is a will, there is a way, right? Well, thanks to the developers, there is this method that you can play remotely while your console is jailbroken and not connected to PlayStation Network on your computer, cell phone or tablet. You just need to use specific apps designed for your devices to unleash the power of your console and bypass this limit and experience playing PlayStation 4 games on your gadgets. That's huge, I know, but this is what it is guys. Alright, let's get started by getting into PS4 main menu. As I mentioned before, Remote Play works with PSN activated account. I already activated PSN on this user permanently, so when I push options on DualShock 4 controller, then it gives me these two online options before I log in. But this user account is not PSN activated, and when I push options, nothing happens. There is no online options at all. Let's log into Dexdeck Pro user. Go to settings, network and connect it to the Wi-Fi router. Great. Back to settings, remote play connection settings, and here it is. It doesn't allow me to use remote play cause the console ain't connected to the PSN, no active PSN account. To fix this issue, you need to inject the gold hand payload, which will activate the PSN account and unlock this menu to enter and configure for remote play. So I get back to the dashboard, web browser and inject the gold hand. But if you're not familiar with the payloads, hosts, cache and jailbreaking, you better watch this video tutorial how to jailbreak your PlayStation 4 by clicking on notification upper right corner of the screen. Great. Open up the web browser and inject the gold hand. Cool. We should be good to go right now. Back to settings, remote play connection settings and this is it. We are in. It is enabled. Nice. Back to a computer. I'm gonna first connect my laptop to remote play on local area connection or LAN, then I go for my Android phone afterwards. And finally, I'll be teaching you how to play remotely when you're far away from home over internet connection or WAN, which stands for a wide area network. First off, you need to use an open source remote play it goes by the name Chiaki. I already put the download link in description that you can download and use it. Here is Remote Play app ready to use. Back to PS4 Remote Play connection settings. Click on Add Devices and it gives us the pin codes to pair. Back to computer again. Open up Chiaki. As you can see, it automatically detected PlayStation 4 on local area network. Double click. I select PS4 firmware under 7 because I'm on 5.05. .05. PSN online ID, type whatever you like. I go for DEX, for example. And the PIN number, type the ones that PS4 just gave us. Click on register. Successfully registered. Awesome. Click on OK. Now double click on DEX and here it is. We are remotely in. So now I have my PS4 on my laptop screen and I can experience remote gameplay from here. You can use your keyboard or connect your DualShock 4 controller to experience comfy gameplay. Okay, let's close the window. Do you want the console go to sleep mode? No, I don't because uh, I'm still not finished yet. Click on gear icon upper right corner of the window to get the settings open. 
As you can see, you can set the resolution from stream settings. FPS or frame rate per second, 30 or 60, to experience different smoothness in gameplay and streaming. Codec, you gotta use H.264. Here is my registered PS4 console. You can delete it if it acts up and re-register it back to fix the problem. And this area is for key settings that you can map different keys for your convenience. Okay, that's it. Let's close it. Time for Android installation and configuration. Of course, my cell phone and PS4 are on the same network. Go to Google Play and search for Chiaki. Download and install it. Open it up. It already detected my PS4 exactly like the desktop version that I just showed you. Tap on it. Choose the last option, PS4 firmware lower than 7, again, because I'm on 5.05, .05, right? If your PS4 system software is different than mine, then you have to make the right choice. PS and ID, I go for DEX again. And for the pin number, get back to PS4 Remote Play Connection Settings, at Device, then type the pin codes back to Android Apps pin box. Tap on Register. Register successful. Awesome. Get back to the main page. Tap on it again. And here we go. We are connected and I can play PS4 games on my Android phone. Tremendous. These settings only work on your local area connection or LAN when your PS4, phone, tablet and computer are connected on the same network. So what if you're not home and still want to have access to your PlayStation 4 console remotely via internet connection? In this case, your PS4 must be connected to the internet by your router for sure, but you gotta configure port forwarding inside your router to send the traffic back and forth to the PlayStation 4 over internet. My router is TP-Link and the configuration could be similar to other brands and models. If yours is different than mine, then I suggest you reading the articles on portforward.com, click on Routers, All Routers, then find your brand and follow the instructions to set up port forwarding on your own router. If you couldn't understand or make heads or tails of it, just give me your router brand and model in the comment section below this video. Then I'll give you the instruction to set it up. No prob. I'm logged into my router. I go to Advanced Setup, NAT, Virtual Servers. User interface, don't touch it. I am connected to my internet service provider with Freeper POE stands for point-to-point -point protocol over Ethernet. Yours might be different protocol, but you just let it go. Click on custom service and give it a name. For instance, PS4. For server IP address, you gotta put the PlayStation 4 IP address. To check PS4 IP address, go to settings, network, it's already connected to the internet by the way. But I go for view connection status. And here is its IP address. 192.168.1.103. Get back to router configuration page and type the IP address here. 192.168.1.103. Great. Now it's time to add ports to forward over internet. The ports that Remote Play uses are both TCP and UDP. External port start. 92.95. External port end 9297. Protocol TCP UDP. Internal port start 9295. Internal port end 9297, which is automatically recognized from external port numbers we just added. External port start 987. External port end 987. Protocol TCP UDP. That's all of the ports to forward. Click on save and apply. Here is the final result. Make sure that they are all enabled. Great. I'm done with configuration. Now what we need to know is our public IP address because I want to connect with my Android phone which is out of my local area network by SIM card data not my Wi-Fi router to my PS4 by remote play. To get the public IP address you simply google what's my IP address and here is my address. Get back to Android phone Connect it to mobile data internet connection. Open up the app and make new one by tapping on plus button. Add console manually. Enter your public IP address in host. Click on save. Tap on save console to open up. For system software, I select the last one lower than 7.0. Define a PS and ID. For example, I go for Dextech Pro this time. For the pin number, get back to PS4. 
settings, remote play connection settings, add device, and here is the pin. Back to Android phone, enter the pin codes. Tap on register. Register successful. Awesome. Tap on back. Tap on registered console. It takes a little bit of time to connect. And here we are guys. I am connected remotely to my PlayStation 4 via internet. Now here phone internet data connection is a little bit slow. That's why you see it like this. But the faster connection, the better experience for sure. And for your PC version, it's all the same as the Android, guys. The difference is the replacement of local IP address with the public IP address. Since most of the public addresses are dynamic, they change from time to time depends on your ISP, uptime, and disconnection. But better to double check and make sure what your public address is before you enter it in the Chiaki app to have remote play experience on your devices via internet. And that's the end of this video tutorial. You got a question? Don't hesitate to shoot. Thanks for watching and have a good one guys.